All right, welcome everyone to this new video tutorial about Unreal Multiplayer Lobby. So I'm going to open up our to-do list, and we we done we've done that delay, we've done that ready button, and that says the last thing on our list is the proper disconnect system. But actually, before that, I talked about doing the player spawn. So basically, that's going to say, hey, we got different players, spawn them at different locations. And so we're going to jump right in, actually. Let's save. Let's open up our game our game level. So for me, test map. For you, it should be third person example map, I believe. So we have a player start. And all players are starting there. And that's kind of ugly. We don't want that. And I never found a way to actually have multiple player start and I don't even know what that does if I duplicate that what that does actually we're going to try out right now so if I hit play what is going to happen we might be black we might be all black because we didn't set up a, well actually that seems to to do some 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 something so but that's not really helping if you want to, them to be spawned uh, like a team and stuff like that. So they're randomly given uh, a spawn, I suppose. So it's looking like that. It's randomly given, giving them uh, a player start. So I can explain you. I can explain to you my way of doing things. If you want to do something like. Uh, something else than a randomly chosen spawn between all all these spawns well you can say in your game mode look your game up in your world settings well actually not not in your world settings your game mode your how do we say third person game mode so for me it's the top down game mode but for you the third person i will disable the basic pawn i will say there is no basic pawn and then i will dynamically spawn them in the locations i want based on well their team their color stuff like that or there's another way you can just on the spawn of your character you can just say Hide everything in here, hide everything, tell the mesh it's not overlapping with, it's not being in collision, it's not under entering in collisions with other pawns, and make them, make them teleport to a, a location you desire, and reactivate them. So, that's, that's it for the multiplayer spawn, so I'm going to wrap that video up, I'm going to close that. And hope you guys enjoyed that quick video and hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.